2669, Gemini Sector, Troy System. The Terran Frontier. Between the Kilrathi Empire and the Unknown. What is it, huh? Is it a smuggler far off the normal space lanes? Maybe a bad smuggler with some nice contraband. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm just a tourist with a frag nav console. Could you tell me where I am? Deep in trouble, little tourist. Prepare to be boarded. Not a chance, pal. Prepare to go to hell. so good are you insane no it's just got a load of cargo in the hold and a load of bills to pay at home and i the same you shouldn't kill me just for attacking you i don't mind that you tried to kill me but protecting myself against your type gets expensive and i'm on a budget smoked his ass Welcome folks to another Game Hoarder production. We're going to be doing Privateer. Dedicating this LP to Finnegan. He's the one that wanted this done. He chose it. So we're going to do it. He's been waiting patiently. I'm going to be playing good old keyboard style. Tried to get my Thrustmaster joystick to work, but for some reason, even after calibration, just not happening. Um, so I'll, I'll keep fiddling around with it. You never know. But I don't mind using the keyboard. It's kind of noisy and clicky. So... Forgive me for that during the video. Um, but, you know, when you grow up using the keyboard for all your games, you get pretty damn good at it. And continuing with the Ronsock and Lug Lug Legacy. Here we start with our TARDIS ship. Not a very good ship. I sure could use a drink. There is one bit of bad news here. The base is being shaken by tremors. We can't keep the damn mines from collapsing. We fix one, then a quake hits and collapses two others. Unless this roid stabilizes, we may be in for some trouble. Alrighty. Got the commodity exchange here, which you use for merchant business. Buying and selling cargo from different locations. Here we have the different ships that we can purchase. We'll be upgrading as we go along. But for now, we need to modify our current ship here by selling the laser and the missile launcher. And we're going to buy... Uh, let's see. Buy a torpedo launcher. And two Mason blasters. Actually, if I got enough, we probably need a better engine for this, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it anyways. And I'm going to load up on proton torpedoes. Let's grab us some missions. Bounty mission. So make sure you get missions within the system that you're in. This one has a Delhi pirate pirate operating out of the Troy, Pyrenees, or Pindar Star. So since this involves multiple star systems, it could be kind of risky to take. This one has us traveling five nav points. That's fine. We'll take that. This one has us traveling five nav points. 
Now, if you take two of the missions that kind of having you doing the same thing, that's a smart thing to do. If these have us go to the same five nav points, we're going to get paid for both of them. And it doesn't really double the amount of enemy there. Our short is a cargo mission. It's going to New Detroit, though. Can't do that. It's another one out of our system. Another one out of the system. Looks like these are the only two we have so far. All the rest of these are out. So we'll go do these two. Well, let's go ahead and save. We have the Merchants Guild up here and the Mercenaries Guild where you can uh, get better missions, but you have to buy membership first. Oh, I haven't played this since the game came out over a decade ago, so... Hell, two decades almost by now. So you can see we have our nav missions here. We gotta go to 13578 and 13578. So effectively we're gonna get paid twice for doing the one mission. And they're all marked by being red, so we'll just kind of do a swoop here and then come back to two. arm our guns. Got full shields and let's hit the autopilot. And looks like we definitely have some enemy out here. Until we get a better radar system, we can't really tell the difference between good and bad. But you can tell they're bad because they're shooting at me. And a missile just hit me. And I just blew him to smithereens. That's why I come packing proton torpedoes. That's right. Game hoarder, don't fuck around. That's pretty much an instant kill. Go ahead and speed up our engines here. You can also see we have our different views. Left and right, cop pick, rear. Missile camera you can turn on and off. You can do a... Alright, I accidentally uh, stopped the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't hit F9. That stops the camera in Camstasia. Dump your cargo before you blow, will ya? I'm not re-recording this again. I've already done it like seven fucking times. We've been pretty quiet. We've checked the other now points. And this bitch is gonna die for fucking with me. That's all you need to know. So sorry about that. So we've checked one, seven, eight, five, and we just have to check this last nav point, and we're done with both missions. And don't worry, you're gonna see plenty of uh, plenty of missions done. I just have to remember not to hit F9, which I never will again. I just was showing it to show that view. Uh, F9 also pauses Camstasia. Sitting here talking to myself. All right, so the missions are complete. You can of course double check that. They're all dark red. So mission one and two are both complete for the price of one. And now we're going to return back to base and get paid. Repair our ship and upgrade. Militia here. Stick to your flight pad.
communicate with the base. Say hello. I don't talk back that much. And you automatically get paid if the mission is successful. So we can just go right back to the ship dealer. And now we have 13,825 credits. First thing you want to do is repair. Which the more shit you have, the more expensive it gets. But it leaves us with enough money to buy our engine upgrades. Which is going to help out a lot. I think we'll also sell the play steel armor and buy the better armor, the tungsten. Every little bit helps. And also, let's go ahead and buy our proton torpedoes, max that back out. And now we're good. Also, good to save. You can also check out your missions here. Kills to date, four. Got four kills on that mission. Completed two missions. You got your financial breakdown here. Uh, merchant, hunter, confed, all neutral. Kill Rafi. Pirate and retro are hostile. And militia is, of course, neutral. Shows how many kills we have. We killed four pirates on that, those two missions. And this is our cargo manifest. Which we're not doing any merchant stuff right now. I'm going to probably play as more of a bounty hunter mercenary. Because that's my style. Alright, so... Let's hit back to the mission computer. Termination of a pirate in the Troy system. Subject may have fled to Pender Star or War systems. Which means we don't want it. Can't do it. Scout and have one in the Troy system, we can do that. And scout another five nav points. Alright. Any tips for a new kid in town? Don't get blown up. That's all I've got right now. You can check back at the bar. Sometimes there'll be fixers and different people that give you different missions. I'm going to try to do a variety of missions, but again, I love blowing shit up. I'll try not to accidentally pause the camera this time. Oh shit, you know what? I'm not looking for any trouble. I forgot to fix my communications. Gotta head back to base. You can see I can just hold down my afterburner now. now entering an automatic landing zone. And it barely takes any battery. So, when you do repairs, you also need to repair your software. Which you can get different quadrant maps here. Let's go ahead and repair. Wasn't too badly damaged, thank God. We have the Mark II down here. Uh, you can get the Mark III. The better radars will give you um, IITS or whatever it's called. It's basically a tracking system that shows you where to shoot in front of the enemy ship so that you get a scored hit. Uh, also gives you uh, color coding based on if they're good or bad, which that's pretty helpful, because you get into a dogfight with a bunch of goodies and baddies and start shooting up the goodies, uh, yeah, can cause uh, public relation issues really quick. 
All right, now we're good. Now we're ready to actually launch and do our thing here. So we're gonna check our missions. We gotta go to Nav 1 anyway, so we're already headed there. Make sure you always save in between successful missions. You're about to suck void, buddy. Now this might be a tougher pirate. Oh shit. Gotta arm my guns. We'll be able to fuck shit up now. Oh, see ya! You can see when I hold down my afterburners, it pretty much doubles my speed from 300 to almost 600. Looks like that was the little named pirate there, or the little mini boss pirate, if you will. Alright, and that's one nav point down. Next, Navi 7. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. No contraband detected. You may proceed. See, I can't tell who's good and who's bad now. We can let the militia fight them. Or we can help, but until they shoot us... Because they're both driving Talon ships. Let's keep an eye on this one. Yeah, I don't think he's bad. He would have probably just tried to light me up. say he was one of them. <laughs> At least we hope he was one of them. Let's go out here and see if we can help. There he is. Once you got him, go ahead and lock him in. And now we got help also. Yeah, you're fucking toast. We had eight. So again, be very careful when you're fighting around militia. I can't even autopilot from over 10,000 meters away, so we're just going to have to afterburn it down. When you're doing these early scout missions, there's usually only enemies on two, maybe three of the nav points out of the five or six. But the enemy get a lot harder, the AI gets a lot better, and the ships get a lot more well armed. But then again, so do ours. And hopefully our AI gets better as well. And hopefully I don't suck as bad then as I do now. If you uh, come out and do these missions without um, the proton torpedo or some kind of missile launcher, well check out my buddy Byron's video. His very first video is a good example of what's going to happen. The uh, fights get drawn out take a lot longer than they need to. Be 
because the shields will constantly recharge, you'll do a little damage here and there. It just turns into a big pain in the ass. That's why I always equip that torpedo launcher first thing. And these enemies uh, in this region all tend to come at you head first anyways. So dumb fire missiles are perfect. You just line it up and set them loose. We got seven proton torpedoes left. Everything's looking good. Damage report. Everything's in the green. So we're good. Afterburners, generators, maneuvering, jets, shields, targeting, and thruster. All systems are green. The green is a fucking go in my book. Last nav point. Sun. Definitely going to be some opposition here. Well, what the hell is that? I don't remember seeing those this early. Better clear out. Trouble's brewing. All right. Flying in a demon. Shit, I want to fly in a demon. That's a bounty hunter. So since I'm neutral with the bounty hunters, we're good. If I was uh, off blasting merchant ships and stealing cargo, doing the pirate roll, those guys are going to attack you. So that's it. Another two missions complete. I think when you hit S, it sucks all your shields and drains it into the battery so you can keep firing. It's pretty dangerous to do that. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Okay, fathead. I remember seeing these graphics back in the day. They were just... They blow you away. Just flew in, did you? Let me ask you a question. Did you notice the increased militia and confed patrols on your approach? The confed is losing hundreds of ships a day to the war. That means they need more metal for replacement ships and they're stepping up protection of mining bases to keep raw material out of Kilrathi hands. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot safer because of it. Alright. No one else in here to talk to. And let's go do the repairs. Nothing to repair, that's a good thing. Ten grand and nothing to repair, so we can go right to buy. ECM packages are good. They help deter missiles from hitting you. Repair droid is pretty cool. The jump drive lets us get to different sectors, although I'm okay with hanging out here for now. I would like to save up and get shield generator 2, but... Usually you want to have more engines going on. But also add another torpedo launcher or missile launcher that would give me more onboard uh, missiles or, tor or torpedoes to launch, but might not need that. I would like to save up and get a better radar as soon as possible. This one's fifty thousand. I'm going to have to look up in the manual which one of these shows me the difference between good guys and bad guys. I'm pretty sure all these upper ones do. Uh, I 
guess I'll wait on that. Could get our jump drive now and just start jumping into other missions, but... I hate to break it to you, but we've checked your account. And you don't have enough credits to buy this ship. She sure is a fine ship, though, isn't she? Listen, I want to make a sale. You want to make a purchase. Let's look at the facts. You know the retail of this ship. I can use your ship for trade-in, plus your extras. Including your cash on hand, that still leaves you short. Go get some more cash and come back when you're ready to deal, okay? And don't feel embarrassed. These things happen. <laughs> Doesn't even tell me how much it is. Well, I guess for now, we'll get the basic ECM. That'll help deter some missiles off of us. Um, let's go ahead and... Go back up with missiles. Torpedoes, rather. Grab some more missions. What do we got? Big bucks for dedicated professional. Need pirate presence eliminated at NAV3 and Troy. That's an easy 3,600 creds. We'll take that. Going to New Detroit? Not today. Here's another five nap points for ten grand. We like those. Commando sought for surgical defense of Hector. Oh, there's a defense mission. That's fun. Let's do that one. I don't like the ones that involve multiple systems because you don't know if they're going to be in your system and then you got to jump in between them. We'll go do the defense mission as well. You can come here for cargo, gems, iron. You can buy this and you can sell them at higher rates at other places. Uh, we can get a mercenaries guild. I think is 5,000. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a mercenaries guild. While we have the money. Listen up. If you're looking for fame and glory, you've come to the right place. Just remember, the Mercenaries Guild not only gets you the best jobs, we guarantee payment. In this business, that's worth thinking about. The application fee is now 5,000 credits. Our rates have only recently gone up. Well worth the price, though. The Mercenaries Guild offers the most challenging missions and a premium compensation plan. What do you say? You with us? We'll hold off on that for now. The Mercenaries Guild is not for everybody. You have to have what it takes. And I see you're coming up a little short today. I'll be right here when you change your mind. She's talking about my creds, not what's in my pants. We're oh, sorry, you must first join the Mercenaries Guild. So you get better missions up here with guaranteed payment. Sometimes you might take a mission from the mission computer and get stiffed on payment. Hi, how are you? I'd like to invite you to join our guild. We broker for the most reputable clients. That means we guarantee your work and your compensation. The Merchant's Guild primarily schedules cargo runs, but we also place big bounties on pilots that attack our own members. It will only cost you 1,000 credits to join our ranks. How about it? 1,000 for the merchants. You wish you had, friend. They have more cargo-based missions. Eventually you'll want to join both just so you get the best of both worlds on missions. Just for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep saving up so we can get a little bit better upgrades for the ship. And I think that about wraps it up for this video, folks. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank Finnegan for recommending this amazing game to LP. It'd be my pleasure bringing it to you guys and gals. And stay tuned for some more Privateer. Thanks for watching.